Hey everyone, it is Sunday the 21st of February and I'm here today to do an unusual unboxing video. <coughs> Sorry if I'm quiet and whatnot in this video um, and if you see me moving quite strangely um, I am suffering from very bad back pain, um, bad back travels with my family I'm afraid on my dad's side um, but hopefully it'll get better soon um, so I'm just plodding around normal life trying to exercise it gently and uh, yeah so I'm unboxing something quite unusual today um, I recently did a video on how to convert your uh, VHS tapes to digital and um, I was using my video player that I've had for ages, some Philips video player, it's just your average video player. And I thought, you know, this thing is really bad. Um, it's, for someone like me that's into technology, it's very basic. And, you know, I still use VHS. And I thought I'd treat myself to getting something slightly better. And also something slightly older because I do like the retro kind of technology. Um, so I've got myself an Akai VSF. 510. Uh, I got the model number on the screen because there's no way I can remember that. Um, I got it on the 13th, as you might be able to see down there. Uh, and it's taken a while to get to me, but I've got it now. The box is sitting over there, and I'm going to unbox it. Anyway, um, advantages to this video player then it has hi fi sound, which is nice. Um, it's got uh, red and white stereo jacks directly on the back of it, so I can output into a nice amp and uh, get a really nice sound. It's uh, high quality supposedly so it does try and improve the quality of tape <coughs> which is really good. Um, it has uh, composite inputs so if I want to record onto VHS externally from composite I can. On my old video player I could only go in through coaxial aerial lead. Um, so they are the ad advantages to this video player. It's a nice video player, it's um, that old style, you'll see it in a minute, it's got a nice big remote with it. <coughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to unbox it now guys, it's going to take me slightly longer than usual because I'm quite slow at moving today, but um, that just zoomed itself out. But anyway, um, I'm going to move down onto the floor and we're going to unbox this video player. So here's the box guys, I've already ripped off my address. and. Um, it's worth watching this video right to the very end because I'm going to test this out and I think this is probably the first time you'll ever see the first time you will have seen my uh, projector in action so it's worth sticking around just for that and while I cut the tape open my plan is to talk to you about VHS so I know I'm going to get the comments, you know, why the hell are you still using this and all that. Well, I want to just state, and it's quite simple, that there is lots and lots of content out there that still hasn't been put on DVD. Now you've got to remember that VHS was a leading format right from the 80s all the way through to about, well, last decade. I mean, we had our DVD player in the year, let, let me think, 2003, 2004, maybe even later. But I remember still using videos when DVDs were out. And not just out, but properly out kind of thing, as in a lot of people are having them. And back to my point, you've got to remember that the video was the leading format for so long, there was just so much content on VHS that literally is not available on DVD yet. Lots of it is still being put on the DVD, there's still going to be lots of it that you'll never be able to get on DVD. And that's, that's a fact. It's impossible to get every single VHS tape 
and put it on DVD. And there's a lot of VHS content out there. Okay. Uh, first things first. The eBay receipt. You know, my back is killing me. Okay, we got some bubble wrap. And the first thing we have is the remote. Now this remote is huge. This cover that's on the remote doesn't stay on, so it's got an elastic band on it. But there is the remote. And that is such a cool remote. It really is very, very cool. It's huge. I love it. Okay, so there's the remote. First exciting bit out of the way. Here we have more bubble wrap. That's nice that they've included two batteries for the remote and it's not just any old batteries, these are Duracells, so they'll last me a hell of a long time. Here we have a standard antenna cable. Put that in the box with all my other cables, might come in handy. Here we have the manual, which is very handy. I would not like to own a video player without the manual if you're interested in programming the record time. Um, especially with one this complicated. Uh, we've got high quality, uh, VHS Hi-Fi, PAL. Looks like a very nice system. There's the operating manual. I believe that's all of the accessories out of the way. We've got a power cable in there. I guess it's just time to try and wangle this out of the box. Now, to avoid lifting anything very much, because my back is really hurting, I'm just going to cut down the side of the box. We're going to actually cut the cardboard open. This isn't actually a box, it's just been made out of a bit of cardboard. More bubble wrap, these giant bubbles, these huge ones. You're not meant to do that, I don't think. They've got toxic gas in them or whatever. Spoils the fun out of it. Ah. Trying to burst bubble wrap with a bad back. <laughs> Bang. Nothing ever gets boring. Wow, it's quite a heavy system, or is it feeling heavier because I've got a bad back? Who knows? Here it is. I'll turn it round a little bit. It's pretty damn big. There it is, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera and um, grab it off the tripod and show you around it. Well guys, here is the unit, it's looking good, very good, uh, sorry about this guys, it's very awkward to sit here, um, I need to go visit a doctor or something, anyway, here is the flap for your VHS tape, there's the eject button, and here is the knob, for, I'd say, fast forward and rewind and stuff, I guess. Uh, that's what I'm guessing, anyway. And then, here's the flap for all of your other controls, all the complicated stuff. That's your display. <coughs> Let me try and turn this round, I'll show you the back of it. It's very large, as you can see. I like these big old, larger VCRs. Okay. Here you have your SCART output, your composite in, your left and right audio out, and your antenna in and out. And obviously your power cord is hardwired back there. So, that's a really nice um, video player. Some of you might not think there's anything special about it, but to find a video player with composite in the back of it in this country seems to be quite hard. From what I've seen in America, most VCRs have composite, um, not just 
in but out as well. Um, but my video player, along with lots of other video players, uh, just have the uh, SCART output. But anyway, I'm going to hook this up to the projector now, I'm going to play with it for five minutes, and then I'm going to grab the camera and show you what it's all about. Well guys, my room is a tip. Um, let me just turn this down a little bit. My room is a tip. Um, because I got this video player out and whatnot. But, pff, what a machine. Um, that's the projector in my eyes. It just does stuff. The fast forward and the rewind is the quickest I've ever seen in my life. Um, it sounds amazing. It really does. I love the sound of it. Um, wow. Um, I had a bit of trouble with it at the start, actually, and it quite annoyed me. Um, my Red Dwarf tape, first ever Red Dwarf tape, bite one of series one, it actually chewed it up. Let me see if I can show you. It chewed this tape. There you can see. I'll have to get another one of this one. Um, but ever since then, it seems to have settled down. Shouldn't have tested it with uh, a good tape. But anyway, I'm going to crank up the volume and hopefully you can get some idea of the sound and I'll point you at the screen as well. Sorry for the bad camera work guys. Let's crank this up, it's just a random trailer. For my only surviving relative, on the condition that Darren gets the choir accepted into the annual gospel competition. I'm not leaving some small town choir. $150,000. Yeah. I was just kidding about that small town stuff. Oh, I have a little small town stuff. Where's our choir? Fast forward is really fast. Make a last wish come true. Auditions for That is very fast fast forward. I love it. And then it pauses afterwards. Play. The Fighting Temptations. A story that will lift your spirits. And rock your soul. No smoking, no drinking, no fun of living at all. Academy Award winner Cuba Gooding Jr., Grammy winner Beyonce Knowles. It's a really good player, guys. Um, by the way, sorry about the camera work. Um, my back is just to blame for that again. But I love this player, it's really good. Um, it's really, really good. Let me just fast forward. So you can see the fast forward and it's just quick. It's the quickest I've ever seen. It's a really nice machine and I really like it. Hopefully it doesn't chew any more tapes. I really don't want it to chew any more tapes. This is School of Rock, by the way, guys. And it's very light in here at the moment, that's why this screen isn't looking too good.
So guys, that is what I'm talking about. Let's eject this to see if it's chewed my tape. And it hasn't. It must have been having a funny five minutes. But anyway, wow, a new video player. Very impressed. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.